Hello and welcome back to the Digital Assets Daily. Just want to do a quick video. A lot of people are not familiar with Pundi X and what it actually does, but it's a it's a, also a great technology that seems to be partnering up and integrating with a lot of other cryptocurrency and digital asset technology across the blockchain. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of links here. They will also be available in the description down below. Let's start with um, a closer look at Pundi X blockchain based point of sale system. It's pretty much technology at this point that I believe only Pundi has if I'm not mistaken. But a quick description. Let's go back up really quick and give uh, the credit back to medium.com. Um, it's a conventional system, a point of sale system, usually cover a range of functionalities such as being a physical cash register, credit card processor, to basic inventory software that can run on most PCs or on the cloud. It's a blockchain integrated payment system on top of the regular point of sale features is now capable of accepting and processing cryptocurrencies that may enrich the retail experience for both merchants and consumers. It is a marriage between inventory management and exchange platform. The deployment of the Pundix point of sale system is anticipated to bring blockchain enabled payment technology to the mainstream while enabling are while keeping the transactions seamless and cost effective. Just wanted to run a quick update on those of you that are not quite familiar with Pundi X and, and what it really offers. The other great thing <clears throat> with Pundi X is it now offers a phone. The new phone can switch between blockchain and Android, which is a really amazing system as we see the blockchain is becoming widely accepted and adopted. But the great thing, let's see, this is coming from Coindesk. The blockchain device manufacturer startup Pundi X unveiled new specifications for its blockchain phone, which it plans to release to the public later this year. Revealed at the Mobile World Congress conference in Barcelona this week, the X phone will let users switch between a traditional mode that supports Android apps and a blockchain mode, which will grant users access to decentralized apps, the dApps that are loaded on the device. You can finish reading the full content <clears throat> down below in the description. I will leave also the link. Just more information letting you know about Pundi X. Now let's come to this, where I will start connecting. Pundi X payment app integrates with the Samsung blockchain wallet. I'm not going to go into this. This is also thanks to medium.com. You can read it yourself in the description. The reason I bring this up, I wanted to give you a little bit of history with Pundi X, offering the point of sale, now having the first a phone that's integrated into the blockchain and can switch in and out of Android have also partnered with the Samsung blockchain wallet. The reason I've connected all of these for you is because now I want to come to this from the Daily Hoddle, which says tech giant Samsung teams up with Ripple partner Fenabler. Is blockchain or XRP involved? And if you're familiar with the new changes, as I've done in a previous video, of Ripple officially slash unofficially no longer stating XRP is now liquidity or on-demand liquidity. But basically in the community that's understood that that is XRP. So the great thing that I find interesting here or as Brad Garlinghouse said, there's really not 
uh, need for competition any longer, any further within the different communities of crypto, digital assets, and blockchain. Basically, now they are learning to integrate everything together and work together. And those with liquidity or those with a use case are going to survive. But it seems those with a use case are now starting to work to and partner together. So that I find is interesting with this statement is it says Samsung Electronics America is teaming up with the UK-based payment platform and RippleNet member Fenabler. The company's plan to add a new feature to the Samsung Pay mobile app. It's called Money Transfer and will allow people to send money to 47 countries using a variety of payment options. I'll allow you to finish uh, if you're interested and curious to read more into this from the Daily Hoddle. I will have all of these in the description so that you can further read and research yourself uh, if you're interested. But I find really to finish this statement. Fenabler says its cross-border payments technology currently serves more than 25 million people in 170 countries worldwide. The company joined Ripple's network of banks and payment providers in December of last year. Fenabler's UAE exchange is using Ripple's cross-border payments technology to power remittances to Asia. You can do your own research, but I'm going to lay that out for you, that I find it very exciting to see Pundi working with Samsung, which is working with Ripple. Again, stating as Brad Garlinghouse said, there's no need for competition between the digital assets any further. Those with a use case basically will begin working together. Again, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is only my opinion. And I am not a financial advisor. I hope you're having a great night. And we'll talk to you in the next one.